have you been wanting to get into 3d printing it just seems intimidating and you go watch the videos and there's a bunch of technical talk and you just kind of get lost right away i'm going to see if i can fix that for you today with this i was just like you i was totally intimidated until i got the bamboo lab x1 carbon i've made a few things with it i actually have an unboxing video on that one and i'll link it below this one here is a bamboo lab a1 mini combo you don't have to buy it as a combo now when this was on pre-sale they made you buy it as a combo to be able to order it and i got it and the combo just means that it's going to be able to do multiple colors at the same time but just know that without it it costs 2.99 and it'll do one color and it should be pretty cool so enough about that we'll get to a bunch of that later but let's get this unboxed so just a quick look so far here's the main part of the printer here's some uh PTFE tubes. We're going to call them filament tubes for this video since this is a beginner video. There's a bunch of, I've heard them called several different things. We're just going to call them tubes. Uh, this is the AMS, the automatic material system. And this is the bracket that that's going to hold on to. Uh, these are some color swatches. Uh, all the different colors that Bamboo Labs has. This is the build plate. These right here we'll do in a second. These are going to go over those and that's what you're going to put your filament on we have a little toolbox that has little tools that come with it yeah each one of them comes with a little surprise thing you can print off and mine happens to be a motor and that's kind of fitting i used to be a mechanic so this is what you're going to hang your filament on if you don't have the ams i'm going to put this on because right back here we're going to go ahead and do that that's if you want single colors you're going to use this here's a little bit better look at our little toolbox you have a bunch of allen wrenches up there some spare parts this is the bracket that this is going to ride on. I'll show you that in a second. This is a scraper. So whenever this purges, it's going to scrape it right here. And I'll show you that in a second. And the other thing is all the bolts that go to everything, like for example, AMS stand or this bull holder. It's all clearly marked. More than likely not going to be able to mess it up. But just wanted to show that real quick. I think the first thing I'm going to do is put this AMS together should be these are marked one two three four and i think they go just like this as you can see there's holes right there and they line up no big deal so we'll get our screws that are clearly marked over here for ams stand i'll go ahead and put those in i'll go ahead and snug these up not get them super tight it's all just plastic so just get it snug and it should be fine you can see that that's a that's green and that's orange and two of these are green and two are orange so match them up and it's going to kind of be like a puzzle there you go we kind of have a spring action to them do the same over here if you don't get it right away kind of move it around a little bit there we go this is the back of the machine here. All this bracket does is keep it still while it's being transported. So we're going to go ahead and get these off. Next, we need to cut the zip tie off of there. I'm just going to use scissors, I hope. No biggie. There's a piece of foam right here we need to get out. All right, here's our purge wiper. And you'll see how that works here in a little bit. And here's the bolt for it. So we'll just put this to the side. That just slides in there right there. Easy peasy. We have some more foam down here. Let's get that. And there's some screws underneath here that need to be tightened. I don't think you need to Hercules them. You just need to get them a little snug. And if you're not filming, you could just do this while it's sitting on the table. So tight. One more is right here. Here's a spool holder. Here's a spool holder bracket. And once again, clearly marked screws. So we have this uh, orientated the, the way it's supposed to be. And you can see on here, one, two, three, four. These are the four uh, tubes that are gonna go in there. That's the spot for the tubes to go. Now these are the filament tubes. They're either Bowden tubes. I've heard them called Bowden tubes or PTFE tube so somebody in the comments let us know which one that is there's going to be two long ones and two short ones 
here's our long ones and they're gonna go from here to this the outside ones here and they just they just kind of push in yep it's already in there I'll do this one first and these are like quick connect fittings on airlines so you push this part down and it's locked in there go ahead and put these other two hmm I have this little bitty piece right here and you're going to put the tubes in there and then it'll be good to go. Here's the plug-in for the AMS. There's two of them down here. As far as I know, you can only plug one of them in. So or only one of these will work at a time. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. I've already plugged it in and we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Which hopefully you can see that pretty well. It says... Woo, did you hear that? Start English. There we go. North America. North Texas. Connect to Wi-Fi. We'll probably do all that. Let's just go ahead and do it, but just know that they'll have stuff already on here. There's a, a SD card over here that's already gonna have some things to print. So I'll probably skip this. So I got the X1 Carbone right there, and I'm gonna change that name to Andrew as soon as I get a chance. I can do it on the computer in a second. Easy peasy. Here is the AMS for this one. They're all empty. And I'm, I think what I'm about to do is put some on there maybe. So calibration. It's going to calibration for vibration compensation and motor noise cancellation. So we're just going to go ahead and start that. Oh goodness, it's working. This thing starts its calibration for noise and vibration. It goes and it just goes faster and faster. You can follow along with the screen. The whole process takes somewhere around 10 minutes or so. So this thing keeps on going faster and faster. And let me just read this in case you can't see it. It says measures the subtle individual differences of each motor for the active uh, noise calibration algorithm. So you can see it keeps on going different speeds. And then there's some science and stuff going on in there that we really don't need to know how it works, but we just need to know that it works. See how it's saying on right now and off? I can definitely hear a difference when it's on and off. I think we need to get some filament on this thing first. How about that? A new firmware update is available. Do you want to update now? Of course we do. Let me just put this in here. Before... Whoa, got crazy. Okay. We're going to go to the AMS right here. There's a button right there. There's an external spool right here. You hit that. It'll go to your external spool. We have AMS. We're going to hit that. And now... This one right here is number two. This one's number one. And when you put this on there, this is going to want to roll this way, and this one's going to want to roll this way into these tubes. So we'll go ahead and do this side, and I'll kind of show you which way it needs to go. And it doesn't matter. This thing should read what we're putting in there. Cut this at an angle so it'll load easier. And I want to put it on where it's going to go up like that into there. Just snap on here. And then push on this yellow thing. You can see it going through that tube. See how it, it lit up. So look at, let's get these other ones on there. Same kind of concept. This one's going to need, the, the filament's going to need to go this way. automatically reads it one more there we go let's just go back this is loaded so now let's get it close so it's not bending these tubes 
You need to keep in mind that this is going to go back and forth like that, so make sure you don't have anything in the way there. And go back, print files. This one has a 3D Benchy by Creative Tool, a boat race, so it's supposed to be pretty fast. I want to go ahead and try this uh, three colors. I want to do a three color Benchy, and it's right here. So I just hit it, and it says use AMS. Yep. And I want to do a time lapse too. And that there is a camera right here in this thing, and it'll do a time lapse. And if it actually works, then I'll go ahead and show it on this video also. Bed leveling, dynamic flow calibration is going to do all of that. So we'll go to next. The first one it has it as white, and I'm not mad about that. And the next one, color is going to be, let's do purple. My daughter Jackie likes purple. She likes anything that's loud, really. And then let's do green, because I like green. And then we just hit print. And it should go through a calibration process, get everything warmed up and do everything it's supposed to do. And it's gonna play music for us too. This is gonna go through a process where it gets everything warmed up. It's gonna do the bed leveling. It's gonna go ahead and purge out the first part of that filament. And then we're about to have our first poop fly off the poop chute, I think about right now. And then it goes over there and it makes a little practice uh, practice piece and then it starts printing the benchy. And this is real time right here. So let's let this play for a second. That's the, uh, the thing it's gonna use because it's multicolor. And that is actual speed. Here we go. We'll speed it up and it's going to go. And then when it switches colors, it's going to go ahead and it's going to cut the filament and then go over there and purge it. And the new filament's going to come in and then it's going to change to the purple color and then it can start again. And then it's going to go so on and so forth whenever it gets to the, uh, to the next color. And then next thing you know, we're going to have a finished up Benchy. This thing turned out awesome, even if it does have purple in it, it came out very high quality. So it got me thinking, I want to do some pin blank stuff like this green thing. Uh, that's what it ends up being once you put it in a pin blank and pour it. And that's what it looks like after it's turned. So I already had one of them designed. So I went ahead and I went to the computer and I put this 3D printer down as one of my printers, named it Andrew. And then I printed this thing off and it turned out fantastic now I'm gonna show you why you shouldn't be intimidated on finding things to print this thing on the right side of the screen is called maker world it's right there on your phone on the handy app so I have some Sunlu filament that won't fit on the AMS. So I went ahead and I just typed in Sunlu filament and people already have it figured out. So I just went to this right here, checked it out, seen what kind of, how much time it's going to take, how many grams, and you just hit print. And then it goes to your handy app, it goes to your printer, and it just prints. So on here, I'm just checking to see, yep, it's on Andrew. And then it's going to check the uh, AMS to the colors. And it's going to print. I'm going to pick which color I want. It's going to send it to it and it's going to print. Here's an original bamboo lab spool. And you can see the size of that circle right there. And here's a Sunlu. So we can see the size difference there. This little part we just made. now so this should go on there now so all of that without even designing anything we got that done first thing right off hand the pros to this is that if I wasn't filming it would probably take less than 10 minutes for me to set this up and and start the calibration process so it's awesome it's so beginner friendly it's amazing 
the thing that I, the one thing I don't like about this thing is the camera. And I think because I'm spoiled because the other machine, the X1 Carbon has such a good camera and it's four time-lapse videos to put in your, in your videos and stuff. And this one is pretty much, it's low quality, but it's also probably just designed so that you can uh, check on your phone and see if it's, if it's still going. Like you can go to the house. When I printed this thing, I went and got burritos and I just look at my phone. Yep. It's still, it's still going. So I think that's the purpose of it. Uh, a lot of people complain about this excess stuff that, that, uh, goes out over here. Uh, they call it poop. They call it poop. So I'm going to come up when I do, I'm going to do a design video sometime and I'm going to design a poop shoot for this thing to catch all the poop. Uh, I did this thing for the pin blanks today. This three color Benchy was, was awesome. And it is a very good quality. Uh, I think this is very, very beginner friendly. You don't have to know anything. You don't have to know the technical names for everything, but when you do get into this, there's a, there is a lot of technical things you need to know. And, uh, this nozzle is going to get clogged up. How do you unclog it? What's, what are the parts called? How do you get them? All that kind of stuff. But that can come with time. You don't have to know everything overnight to get one of these and start making things. I made this stuff with Maker World. You just go in there and search for something and then hit print and it comes over here and prints. I don't know how much easier that can get. Now the 3D modeling side of it is going to be a little bit harder to, to gain a grasp of, but I haven't been doing it very long and I can go in there and make something simple like this in not that much time. So if you've been looking to get a 3D printer and you haven't yet, go ahead and in the comments below, tell me what you, what's the hold up. Mine was, I didn't realize how much I could do with it, how much it could help me in the shop. Uh, the pin blanks and the, the things I could do with the uh, resin casting and things like that and mold making. I didn't realize I could do all that stuff with this until now and now um, I'm super excited about it. So go ahead and tell me what you're worried about and why you haven't got a 3D printer yet. And in the meantime, go check out this video right here on me unboxing the X1 Carbon and setting it up and printing a couple things of that. So you guys come and see us and we'll see you next time. Y'all be good.